Hey guys, Brian with Thunder Laser USA. I was going to show you um, how to nest in Lightburn real quick. So nesting is if I wanted to take all of these objects that are shown here and try to place them as mo most efficiently as I can inside a predefined area or on a certain size of material or something like that. So <clears throat> the way that Lightburn is currently facilitating that is uh, actually an improved workflow that helps you. Uh, it integrates with uh, SVG Nest uh, or cooperates with. Um, so basically, uh, if you go up into the Arrange menu, you'll see uh, Nest Selected. So I have my objects that I want to nest selected, and I also have, which it just happens to be a tool layer. I don't think it has it, it's necessary for it to be uh, my area that I want to define that to, that all these pieces are going to fit in, uh, which SVG Nest refers to as the bin. So I have all of that selected. So I'm going to go up to Arrange, and I'm going to select Nest Selected. And it says the file name to import has been copied to the clipboard. Click OK when nesting is complete. So let's leave this alone. Uh, you may have had an internet window uh, pop up, uh, a browser window, and it's going to bring you to here, SVG Nest. Um, so if you do drag, you know, uh, you want to click Upload SVG, and it'll open up a window. Then all you need to do is right click and paste. Remember, because it already had the file path copied to the clipboard. So then we just hit open and it's going to ask to click on the outline to use as the bin. And that's what we talked about earlier. That's the space that we want all of our objects to go in. So I'm going to select this rectangle and hit start nest. And we can just watch what happens for a minute. I've done a few dry runs of this. I don't have a lot of good practical um, experience with running this, but it looks like it did great. Sometimes when I ran it, the uh, it looked really weird, uh, and it may be because my boundary, you know, my rectangle was not quite big enough to contain all of the items. And I think that's probably what it was. Uh, but as you can see, it's going to keep going through iterations. I don't know if it'll ever stop on its own. There may be some settings to adjust for that. I'm not sure. I haven't gotten that deep into it. I just wanted to show you how to facilitate the use of it. Um, but you can let it run and it'll keep trying combinations and, and try to make itself better and better and better. Um, it may start you know, uh, it may stop on its own or whatnot. I don't know how long uh, to let it run. So I'm just going to click stop. And so I'm going to download that SVG. And it went to our downloads folder. So now let's go back over to Lightburn where this modal window is still open. And when we click OK, it's going to automatically open another window so that it'll navigate to the downloads folder. And here's the SVG nest output that we just downloaded. So I'm going to do that and then you'll notice that all of the parts are within that boundary that you had defined earlier. So that's how that works. Um, you'll have to play with it. There are some settings in SVG Nest I think. Uh, I don't know how extensive the documentation is on this stuff yet um, but I'm sure it'll come but it's you know pretty straightforward. Uh, I just followed along with the directions uh, and it seemed to do fine. So hope that helps. Thanks.